بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ اوکے ویلکم ٹو اتکلم بل قرآن اسپیکنگ عربک لرننگ عربک تھرو دا گریٹ قرآن As you know that our class is based on two important elements or two important parts. And this is actually the technique all over the world since the birth of Islam, since the advent of uh, the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the beginning of Islam and especially with regards to the hifs of the Quran. Hifs new learning revision and new learning so in this way first we will do that revise the previous what we have learned very quickly the revision and then inshallah ta'ala we will go to the new learning now give me the english translation of the quranic words which i ask you and basically we are focusing on the parts of body ajzal jism and i think that uh, 99% those ajza which have been mentioned in the quran we have covered and uh, which is 1% is left is left intentionally so that when you will grow up and uh, inshallah with the passage of time you will learn more about that one because maybe that is more technical for example inside intestines okay like that so um first give me english translation and secondly if you can locate that word in a verse of the quran because the technique is that or the basic concept behind at takallum is that that the holy quran when you memorize when you read these are the words written in black most of the time all over the world you know is a white page and black writing and black writing remains static and stationary and there is no interaction between a text except reciting or listening beautiful recitation or listening unless you know the meaning and as you know that there is a sentence and a very important exercise all over the world in all educational system is fill in the blanks sometimes is a sentence and they say okay fill in the blank so fill in the blank in a way you can understand with the translation of the quran with the meaning of the quran so for example those words of the quran which you have now learned memorized know the meaning those words are alive in the text in the line of the quran and other words are like though they they are there but they are as you have to fill in the blank for example zalikal kitabu la riba fi this is a sentence it is written on the second page of the quran you will see that oh yes zalika that is i have to fill in that mental bl- uh, blank blank uh, fill in the blank because i do not know what is the meaning of zalik al kitab yes it is written and it is interactive to me i can understand al kitab means the book la riba fi i do not know so it is you know is a white white and uh, you know is a blank so i have to fill in the meaning after understanding after uh, learning i have to understand each and every word so as you know slowly gradually uh, each and every word will interact with you and it will speak to you you can speak to that you can put your feelings you can talk to that okay this is you know the ultimate goal of this uh, class and the learning like for example uh, you know um, there is one word you have mashallah in the part 6 part 30 if we include part 30 that is your part 7 now now 
Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. You would say, okay, Bismi. Um, I do not know the what is ex precise meaning of Bismi, but Allah is very common, and I know this one. Ar Rahman, most gracious, Ar Rahim. You see, uh, similarly in every line of the Quran, every chapter, every page, each and every word should be in your mind with the meaning okay then you can interact this way maybe you are picking one or two word in a line or maybe three four words in a full page but slowly slowly inshallah ta'ala as you will increase your vocabulary with understanding not only like a cramming or like a you know is a parrot like fashion but each word in the structure how the structure is changed you know, a little change in structure could change the meaning. So if we understand the structure uh, of the words, then the meaning of the translation, meaning of the Quran will be very, very easy for, for, for us. Now, uh, what is the English translation of Ru'us? Remember, uh, no, remember, I, I can, you, you have to uh, reflect on the word and do not give answer you know quickly maybe the word is plural so you have to give me the translation or the meaning in plural i could say in a uh, singular which has come but every word which i will be mentioning uh, that will that is from the quran and you have most of them you have learned that one especially we are focusing uh, those words which you have already in your in your brain in your my uh, brain scan your brain and then give me your answer. The first layer will be what is the translation meaning of that. And secondly, then uh, scanning your brain, uh, go to the source where this word has come. Because as I am, we, uh, I am uh, preparing you that inshallah ta'ala, the time would come that only couple of uh, words or two or three words uh, from the Quran or whatever you have learned and memorized will be should be enough and will be enough would be enough inshallah to locate you um, a verse or uh, so that you can quickly give the reference for example in uh, tabligh in preaching sometime you are outside inshallah or um, uh, holding a tabligh stall or one-to-one -one conversation or um, in a gathering a small uh, uh, group and if they say, okay, um, this has not come in the Quran or this is the word, where is this uh, written uh, about that? And then you quickly uh, go to the page in your mind, open the page of the Quran in your mind and then recite or quote that verse or words very confidently. That is, and with the translation, with the meaning, that is the ultimate goal, at takallum bil Quran. at takallum bil Quran will not only equip you enrich you to uh, speak arabic um, arabic dialogues but also to speak to with the holy quran inshallah ta'ala with the passage of time so there is a two in one uh, this benefit of this uh, program so you said ru'us head i said no it is not uh, heads the heads. Uh, heads heads and what will be the singular Ras. Ras. Okay. Can can you locate the verse of uh, Ras and Ru'us uh, in your brain? Yes. Yes, Farhan. Okay, Ru'usakum. So meaning Ru'usakum, your heads. So as I said you that Ka for one person male, Ki for one female and Kum male and female together more than two, maybe million. Okay. So you say Ru'usakum. So what will be the translation? Um, heads. No, Ru'usakum, including Kum. Your heads. Your heads. Your head. Okay, your heads. And you are talking to... One person, two person, uh, dual or more than two? More than two. More yes, than two. Faran. Okay, more than more two. Than two. More, more than two. Yeah, more than two, at least three. At least three. When you say more than two, at least, you know, 
the uh, that cal calculation account starts with three. Okay, and what about uh, the uh, ras? Ras from the Quran. Head. Head and the verse quote. Um, is is it in the same verse? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Azan means pain, okay, any, any, any uncomfortable situation. So Azan means headache. You see, this is a very common ailment in uh, humanity all over the world, you know, it's a co quite common headache. So pain in the head. So Azam bin Rasi, Allah Ta'ala mentions that uh, Rasihi, his head, pain in his head, headache, his headache. So anyway, so that's fine. Um, um, four heads. Give me the... Nasiatun. No, four Nawasi. heads. Nawasi. Oh, Nawasi. Nawasi. Nawasi, okay. That is in the Quran. And uh, four head. Nasiyatun. Okay, I, I just quickly go to all that and uh, inshallah next uh, I come to the next part. You see, Ra'sun uh, Ru'us, Nasiyatun Nawasi, Ayn Ay Uyun, and Ayn Ayun, Anf, um, you know, in Surah Al Maida, Wal Anf Abil Anfi. You see, you have yeah. already memorized and all that has come there. <laughs> all that. Okay. Khaddun and Wajhun, Udunun, Shafatun, Famun, Kalbun, Sadrun. I am uh, preparing a sheet. You see, um, making a sheet where uh, yeah, single word, dual word and the plural word. For example, Ain and the dual Ainan or Ainain and plural ayun and the, then the reference in the quran like uh, qurrata ayun i am making this sheet uh, in the pdf in a4 and inshallah i will uh, send you in the group as well and for those listeners outside um, those who have no access to our uh, study group they can download from our website nqc.org.uk there will be inshallah a tab uh, or uh, in the download section there will be at takallum um, and as you know, I am preparing these lessons in PDF. You can download there. You can listen to these recordings. And for your uh, um, paper um, syllabus or as a uh, material for your learning or revision will be available in the download section. And inshallah, as class will go, I will keep preparing or uh, making these material and that will be uploaded. And the plan is that, that inshallah, after a considerable amount of lessons, um, program, these lessons, these uh, ultimately will be compiled, all that, and uh, it will be printed, uh, put that compiled in a book. And that will be at the Kalum Bil Quran. Okay, so Sadrun, Sudur, Lisan, Batnun. Okay, um, because I, I, I can see you. And this is a revision. I'm quickly going through. And if you do not understand any word in your mind and cannot recognize any word in your mind with meaning, then just raise your hand and I will stop there. Okay. So, Lisan Alsina, Batnun Butun, Yadun Aidi, Zahrun Zuhur, Jambun Junub, Rijlun Arjun, Kaabun. Ka'bain for two and Ku'ub is a plural. Inshallah, I will mention in the PDF sheet, but this is, this has not come in the Quran. But but Inshallah, as I said that it doesn't mean that uh, the you know there are many other words. Um, uh, Arabic is very vast language, okay. But the essential grammar, uh, the words are in the Quran, and on the base of the um, words of the Quran and um, we will learn more other words as a serving to the word of Almighty Allah remember serving to Almighty Allah our base our base our structure our base our foundation will be the Quran and then after that we can build up a, 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 a very towering uh, building on that one 
so i mentioned that ka'bun uh, has mentioned the quran okay ka'bain ila al ka'bain man mentioned the quran um and ku'ub uh, uh, um uh, is not mentioned but here wa qawaib atraba qawaib has mentioned in part 30 surah uh, an-naba so mirfaq and marafiq saq and uh, what is saq i told you last time saq and i was telling you a story oh i think maybe i i have not mentioned that one i was telling you a story of hazrat suleiman alaihissalam remember yes yeah mm-hmm. hazrat suleiman alaihissalatu wasalam yes when i came to uh, in my notes in the saqun and i asked you the question what is the meaning of saq and the uh, expression of basil was quite strange uh, i mean different because uh, i did not uh, teach you that one because last time we finished the story of uh, in in between uh, we left the class because ti- time uh, was up uh, the story of hazrat suleiman so i continue that story hazrat suleiman alaihi salatu wasalam was a great prophet in israelites in bani israel okay um and he was the son of hazrat daud alaihi salam hazrat daud alaihi salatu wasalam was also a king and prophet now remember the jews the jews they do not uh, think and believe that uh, david hazrat daud alaihi salatu wasalam and solomon hazrat suleiman uh, they were the prophets they were father and son they were kings but not uh, they are considered as a prophet uh, in uh, judaism or jew do not consider them they consider them very very wise person very uh, uh, righteous uh, islam the holy quran recognizes them uh, as a prophet so i was telling that hazrat suleiman alaihi salatu wasalam uh, is one of his uh, spy or uh, general or commander whose name was hudhud okay and last time i told you that uh, this, that was a common practice and even now in some tribes they name their babies after you know some phenomenon of nature some natural object some um, those who are positive in character uh, of some animal some birds so he, his parents named him uh, either hudhud or maybe uh, in his uh, professional life in the army of hazrat suleiman alaihi salatu wasalam his uh, the title was given to him hudhud because of his a certain uh, uh, his um, uh, performance so anyway as you say that um, if you are brave okay if you show bravery uh, even your name could be faran could be atal khabir could be basil could be adil or this um, you know many other name ahmad but you could be called oh you are a lion you are a sher or um, you are uh, you know similarly you know the positive character even that is found in uh, an animal or an in a bird it can be given to you and that is a great compliment similarly if a person uh, is not showing good character is not uh, negative uh, uh, attitude or uh, something uh, you know otherwise people can call you know otherwise and we find in the society that when there is an anger and they do not feel that that person has uh, performed well or manifested a good uh, gesture you know they call him names and uh, sometimes the names of the animals and uh, I, i i i do not want to repeat that but you know that this is a common feature embedded in the human psychology so i was telling that hudhud he reported back to hazrat suleiman alaihi salatu wasalam he said that uh, i have seen a very uh, nice intelligent and very um, sovereign a, a queen um, queen uh, it is called sheba in english and saba he said that uh, i have seen her and uh, she and uh, her people meaning her tribe or her country people um, countrymen they are worshiping not allah one god but they are worshiping Uh, son they are the son worshiper so hazrat suleiman alaihi salatu wasalam who was a prophet and who also uh, you know preach the unity of god tawhid he uh, wrote he dictated a letter he uh, letter to uh, that queen 
and it starts with the bismillah rahman rahim we say innahu min sulaiman this letter is from solomon as say from as you know as uh, there is a letter head uh, and on the top of that there is a line uh, that uh, you know sometimes for example if there is a letter um from uh, uh, ahmadiy muslim you know community is say the letter head or any company the na- the name of company or name of their organization is on top of that and after that they address to the that person dear mr dear miss like that so he first of all he say innahu min sulaiman so this letter has come from solomon and say bis inna min sulaiman wa innahu bismillahir rahmanir rahim and after that straight way he said i start this letter i convey this message with the name of allah uh, ar rahman allah who is ar rahman and ar rahim and after that there is a you know letter he conveyed his message and this that um you can uh, you know, those who are listeners and uh, you can guys you can also uh, learn that story or can read english translation in part uh, um part 19 surah naml part 19 okay at the end part 19 uh you can find that story beautiful story uh, to cut this point short um that uh, hazrat uh, suleiman alayhi wasallam um asked him to come and uh, the queen came uh, submissively and hazrat suleiman alayhi wasallam wanted to preach oneness of god to her and the queen was very intelligent and hazrat suleiman alayhi wasallam was also very intelligent and wise and wise people not wise people you know make a subtle um ishara or some uh, subtle points wants to uh, to convey the message to wise people to intelligence so they can they can understand in their in their own way for example a poet can be well uh, learned through poetry a wise man can be given message through the words of wisdom Uh, a, a literary person can be given a message through a through literature or some good writing so hazrat suleiman alayhi wasallam may you know uh, devised a plan and he uh, made in a palace okay and um, he put water he made a pond of water and the glass slabs big you know the thick gla- glass slabs very very clear they put on the water okay and uh, um uh, the, he, he said to the queen okay now enter to this palace this palace enter that one and when uh, the queen uh, you know uh, was to uh, enter was to enter the, the, the palace she found that there is a you know a water is there okay uh, and he said my uh, my cloth you know Uh, under the, the garments on uh, lower part of the body and she said it, that will be wet and she pulled up a little so you know up to the ankle so that uh, her feet uh, uh, may be um, wet but her uh, clothes and garment is uh, not wet and it is uh, it remains uh, dry and uh, there sh- there is no uncomfortable and because she in a reality in actuality felt that this is a deep water and if we are i am going through um, maybe i can go but uh, it will um, make my make me uncomfortable if i wet my clothes okay and i am maybe going to a ceremony like that so there uh, allah taala has mentioned wa kashafat an saqiha so the whole story behind that that i want to tell you or, or uh, teach you the word saq okay saq means calf you know the leg on the on the back back of leg there is a flesh that is calf okay all that one that uh, part of that so that is saq so on the leg on the um, up to the uh, knee okay or uh, that that parts uh, saq so he say uh, allah taala has mentioned wa kashafat you know قيل لها ادخل السر فلما راى راى رات حسبت لجته وكشفت عن ساقيها that when she saw the water she said that this is a very deep water and uh, i might uh, you know uh, ruin my clothes وكشفت عن ساقيها 
that um, he she revealed you know she because when she pulled up her garment little bit so that she can go through uh, so basically saq means seen alif qaf with two dots saq uh, one kaf and saqain two dots and um, two two kafs mean right and left everybody um, who is uh, normally born and uh, you know normally majority we have two legs okay alhamdulillah and two calves so Allah Ta'ala mentioned Saqaiha and Ha refers to the queen means her two calves her two calves K-A-L-V-E-S calves so that is mentioned in that one and but that was basically I tell that that was a Hazrat Suleiman's intelligent plan and that was basically a, a slabs of glass and down uh, uh, underneath there was water and in this way Hazrat Suleiman taught him that she is worshipping her people, her tribe, her countrymen uh, are worshipping sun. And sun light, the brightness is basically back is the power of Almighty Allah. Almighty Allah, Allah the Exalted is giving uh, the brightness and radiance to sun. And uh, sun is created by Almighty Allah. He is the main and ultimate power, not that one not you know whatever you see you see that this it has its own it's uh, you know uh, the creation or it's uh, uh, back uh, uh, underground energy belongs to someone else so uh, queen sheba uh, you know quickly recognized that how beautifully he gave me and conveyed his message um, and uh, there and then um, uh, she submitted and she said that uh, uh, in uh, Aslam to Ma'a Sulaimana Lillahi Rabbil Alameen that Sulaiman is also submissive a servant of uh, Rabbul Alameen Lord of the world the cherisher nourisher of the world I am also along with Solomon along with Sulaiman I believe in the unity in the oneness of Almighty Allah so Kashafat and Saqaiya Saqun you know the Kaf Saqai Saqain two and Saqaiya when together this noon is dropped sometime for example Alam Najallahu Aynain when you make a connection Aynain two eyes to any other uh, person then noon is dropped this is a quite a bit uh, maybe this time higher but may, you just take a note and inshallah Allah, slowly slowly you will uh, gradually learn so that beautiful story that has a Suleiman he uh, conveyed the message of oneness of Almighty Allah and the intelligent queen quickly recognized and said, oh, th that was not actual water. That was basically a deluge that I could not recognize. And uh, the, the reality was different. So she believed that one, uh, you know, la ilaha illallah, there is none worthy of worship except Allah. And um, I believe in that God where in which uh, Solomon believed, say, Aslam tu ma'a Sulaiman lillahi rabbil alameen. And rabbil alameen mean the cherisher, nourisher of al alameen, the all of the world. And in this world, you know, these, these are the moons and moon, um, you know, the qamar and uh, this uh, sun, ashams and an nujum. Okay, ashams hu al qamaru bi husban in surah. Many times it has come in the Quran as well as Shams, Al Qamar, Al Nujum. Uh, when the phenomena of natures, the natural objects above the earth, we will discuss in that heading or that category. Inshallah, I will mention to that one. So, uh, so we come to Saq, Saqain. Um, you know, we are in no rush. We are learning step by step through stories. And through uh, tracing back to the words of Almighty Allah. Because inshallah as I uh, remember and uh, experience that we learn through exam examples well. We learn through stories very well and we remember. And that is a, you can say, um, um, hips markers or uh, memorization markers in your mind through stories. Now uh, only uh, one one minute is left, and uh, um, we inshallah Allah, tomorrow we will discuss about the human relations that we have covered. Azawal Jism that is going to be closed today, 
from time to time we will make revision but now next we come to human relations and the system which i have by the grace of allah developed from the quran is very natural as i said that in the beginning that the most important being you yourself i myself okay and after that when a person comes then the human relations are established from almighty allah you have no choice that that female could be my mother that male could be my mother i should be born there no you have no choice you have the only choice to um you to um to accept a person as a your friend for example when you come in the world you have no choice with regards to the human relations who will be your mother and father your sister your brother your khala or your you know the khal or um, khalatun or ammatun maternal aunt or ammun is a uncle chacha you see all that or you know jaddun that is a grandfather and jaddatun your uh, uh, grandmother okay like that all these human relations you have no choice you have been only given choice to ex- to make a friend sadiq or when a person gro- grows up according to islam uh, you know take up that person in marriage so you have to accept a person you know the other you know uh, as a a life partner or as uh, your uh, friend uh, with regards to other relations you have no choice so that is a great story behind uh, that one inshallah we will continue to speak on that and uh, um, yes so that is time up now and we take leave of uh, you now whatever you have uh, learned and uh, you have taken the notes please remember that you have to revise that one you see the four five um, classes before i told you about the anf about the sin the the, the tooth and the ayn and all that we traced back to surah al balad and some other now you from surah al maida when you have learned now wal ayna bil ayni wal anf bil anfi wal uzuna bil uzuni wa sin bil sin now you will you must when you will be memorizing you must be very happy oh yes we have already know that one and you know that parts of the body you say oh yes i have already learned that one and whenever you will read that verse you you will say oh yes what is happening inside and you will feel confidence you you will feel love and interaction to that those uh, words and that verse that this verse i have already done you know maybe 60 70% and in this way we will fill in the blanks 100% in the quran so assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh